Hi. The Wednesday series confirms a theory I had in my head. Not so directly an original theory. Netflix seems to turn any of their shows about which almost touches a high school and teen series. And that's actually a really amazing thing. Although, of course, it's understandable, the marketers thought the theme of school is still popular. Let's get more and more TV series on the subject. Although the theory isn't so 100%, Netflix has a bunch of other original series as well. This month, for example, we've discussed the completely different, Wednesday, Crown or the rather interesting mystery series 1899, but still, the basis of Netflix is just that, the, Wednesday, series and similar ones. It's really interesting stuff. Everyone I know, whoever I ask 10 years after high school and graduation, says that honestly, thank God, it's all over. University, tech school, adult life is so much more interesting than what was going on in school. But for some incredible reason, we all enjoy watching other people's high school adventures. And there was, so there was this terrific movie called The Addams Family, 91, which I think had a sequel. Pretty successful movies that I used to watch as a kid once on TV and not straight up to it, considering it an incredible masterpiece and not straight up to it being my most favorite movies, like Indiana Jones. But it's pretty iconic and important to world culture. And quite a big surprise to me was that right now, in 2022, I was surprised to find out for myself that it turns out The Addams Family wasn't directed by Tim Burton, even though this movie is just a concentration of classic Burton. Weird, mystical and gothic and absurd. Those are words to describe any Tim Burton film. And such words fit with The Addams Family. But here we are, 30 years later, and still such a surprising injustice has been resolved. And Tim Burton did make his Addams Family movie. But at the same time, it seems to me that he's really faded into the series. There's not much of his personal authorial style, although it's still more of a Tim Burton series than any of the Dombas. More of a Disney movie than a Burton movie. But the story, Wednesday, is really similar to another Sabrina series. There was an iconic 90s sitcom about a family, a young Sabrina and, of course, a beautiful cat. But Netflix took that show and transformed it about Sabrina High School, caught in a love triangle and developing between different worlds. Well and yes, Sabrina is a good show. I love it even in my own way. And I was even a little sad at the end of it. Turns out I shouldn't have been. Netflix remade a remake of Sabrini for me, only in a different setting. And yes, we have a new princess. No Alex. We have all this cool, Wednesday, which I personally can see a kindred spirit for me. If the same Sabrina was a 100% extrovert passionarian, like, let's be friends, let's create our own circle, let's go hang out here and there, and dance, and make people laugh. And, in general, did a bunch of things at the same time, our environment as an introvert. Okay, everybody, leave me alone. What are you guys doing here? All with your emotions and feelings? I don't understand what you want from me. And I'm emotionally impotent, colleague, at least let me write my own book. But because there's all kinds of shit going on around us, people start dying in packs for some reason, and everyone around us just takes it easy and doesn't act on it. We have to take matters into our own hands. Well, of course, as the story unfolds in classic fashion, we realize that behind all this indifferent, well, kind of aloofness hides an incredibly warm and sympathetic person who is just afraid to let people into her world, lest they break her little heart there. Well, as it were, with, Wednesday, goth, and back into mainstream culture. As if it wouldn't turn out that after the show came out, there would be a bunch of teenagers who would start talking about the mortality of existence again, drinking cocktails in a graveyard and listening to some Ozzy Osbourne or Slipknot instead of 50 Cent. That would probably be a real treat for me, though, in general, I think, pretty clearly getting into modern culture, the insider kids. And, Wednesday, is just an icon of it. Well, I also perceive this show as if, you know, Dasha from the show, Daddy's Girls, and Venick had a daughter, whom they called, Wednesday, for some reason, for fun, and who, in general, like a mother, followed in her footsteps and plunged into the depths of the gothic world. And her roommate is a cute little girl named Emma, who can't turn into a wolf. And that, in fact, is Masha's daughter from the same show. And that's how these two different representatives of different worlds exist together quite well. Well, yes, and another interesting point. In general, the feeling that this is just a film adaptation of my favorite mystical works of Gogol. Only in the modern hinterland, in which, albeit there are coffee machines and smartphones, but still going on such different strange, mysterious things.
Well, of course, the story, Wednesday, is, on the one hand, a classic just Harry Potter, on the other hand, it's the same Sabrina I named. The little girl ends up in an interesting boarding school for freaks just like her, says I'll never love anyone, I don't need this. But gets, in general, in the very first minutes in a love triangle. Becomes the object of adoration of two of the coolest guys in this town. One from the muggle world, the other from the magical world. She even has her own Malfoy, only this Malfoy looks, in general, like Sabrini's main adversary. A black, bald, tough girl, with whom, of course, at the end of the season they are so, in general, from enemies, turn into such, in general, comrades. There's a major storyline this season. The detective story is tied to the mysteries of her past, her parents, who, unlike the same Harry Potter and Sabrini live their lives in good health. And that's a very interesting difference indeed. What would have happened to Harry Potter if his parents had been alive and had surrounded him with care? He would have turned out to be this kind of psychopath and withdrawn person. It's all the fault of a family secret. It turns out that back in the day, around the time the movie The Addams Family actually came out, our new family was in school at the same boarding school, where they actually met. And the mother also had a love triangle between two men, only, generally speaking, she loved only one father, Wednesday and the other one clung to her like a bath sheet. And, well, he was a member of a family that didn't magically love this world of real springs, racists. And so daddy at one point sends his son to kill all the inhabitants of this school. But instead, his son himself is killed by poison. It's a strange situation in the behavior of, in general, the parents of, Wednesday. If we keep this secret, although they are building a family that has no secrets, they're not shy, they're not afraid of anything, in general, in front of their children, nothing of the sort. But for drama's sake, we'll keep this very important secret. Although, it would seem, you could just tell before you come to the Wednesday school. You see, my dad and I had an incident like this, we were in a bad situation. Maybe somebody would look at you funny. And so the local lady Dimitrescu my classmate is such a generally vindictive lady. But she'd give her good life for Harry Potter, watched Snape, you know the story. Well, here she is our local Snape. Also interesting is Wednesday's reaction when he finds out that her daddy was a murderer in Wednesday's character, in her psychopathic nature, which is much more than just a girl goth with jokes about death. She almost dismembered her friend there in the story's finale, trying to find, generally speaking, the secrets of him, generally speaking, dirty secrets. I suspect that he is the main monster of this series angry that daddy was her killer and horrified by this moment instead of seemingly reacting. Wow. My dad turns out to be so cool. Not a slimy, slimy slug of a henchman. And here I thought, maybe I'm not adopted in this weird family after all. Yeah. Well, the basic plot and the final twist are pretty predictable and don't bring any big, interesting surprises. It's a series about the characters and the relationship between them, rather than the main intrigue. We've already seen a lot of similar detective stories with the same plot. At first there is the deception that the main murderer turns out to be, in general, a friend of, Wednesday, whom she thought from the very first moment. Her one of the artist boyfriends, but then it turns out to be her other boyfriend, such an all-cute muggle, who we couldn't think of and who seems to have been disconnected from the story altogether. But it turns out that he was getting drunk with honeycomb root by the local Cena Trioni. The greengrocer's teacher, who actually turned out to be the local Voldemort, the sister of the very boy her parents had murdered. Who just wanted revenge for her family, for her brother. And, of course, it was so fortunate that as she began her plan of revenge on the school, suddenly Wansday, who was the key to the whole story, was back. And her just revenge on this town, on this school, also turned out to be, well, revenge on the Adams family. Well, this ending is a little disappointing to me, because I liked Christina Ricci's character and becoming the main villain is just so-so. Although, by and large, thanks to the appearance of Christine Ritchie, they played a very powerful on the Adams family base. New Wednesday versus Old Wednesday. The old school versus the new. And so, generally speaking, they're both awesome that I don't know which, generally speaking, Wednesday, is my favorite now. And I wish Christina Ritchie would stay on this show longer for next season, because of course there will be a sequel. And actually, Christina Ritchie in 2022 is incredibly back, it seems, from her oblivion 30 years later. And a really very interesting series, Hornets, he has the lead role in Wednesday, now.
and it's really interesting to see how she transforms from this kind of weird girl, a little bit creepy looking, into this kind of just super nice and cool aunt. Well, the main evil in the person of Christina Ricci's character is defeated. Several characters die and the kid, Wednesday, who didn't betray her. The local artist gives her a phone. After all, Wednesday, isn't just a girl, but she's also your grandfather's father at the same time. Who doesn't give a fuck about your modern technology, smartphones, social networks, stupid little retards? They get into their phones and fuck up their brains. Grandpa, we read the news on Telegram and follow the situation in the world. Yeah, I don't give a shit every five minutes. Find me this and this and this. And she goes on vacation after the events of this story. Because the concept seems to be that the series is also similar to Harry Potter. One season one year of school. She gets a cryptic message on her phone that the real Voldemort is still following her and the real zone is destroyed. Who is it and what is ahead of us? Up ahead, we don't know yet. But maybe we'll talk about that in the season 2 video.